Good morning, day six. It's Thursday, and today we're going to start off by making some um, monkey bread. This is a pretty simple thing. I do it with my summer camp kids. I do it with kids all the time, but it's something you could do at home. All you really need, I put like maybe a half a cup of flan sugar, regular white sugar in here, with a teaspoon of cinnamon. Shake that around inside a bag. You need two cans of these Grand Biscuits um, from Pillsbury. I took them out of the cans and I already cut them into quarters. I cut them in half, then in half again. In here I have a stick and a half of butter. I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar. And that's going, the butter's melted. And that's going to make my syrup for the inside of my um, monkey bread. Monkey bread, you know, that kind of bread that you make and you pull it apart. And it's all gooey and cinnamony and really yummy. It smells really good in the oven. Personally, I can't eat it. I don't eat flour. I can't eat flour. So I'll be giving this away too to somebody, some worldly soul, whether it be my nephew or my nieces and nephews. You do make this in a in a bunt pan, which is a pan with a spout in the middle here, and I thoroughly um, sprayed it with this canola spray or any spray, so that the whole thing's covered, including here. And I did that to make sure because otherwise it'll stick. So you take your sugar and cinnamon, and you drop in your biscuits one at a time. I like to do. Quite a few here to drop them in so that they don't stick on top of each other. And when I get enough in there, I just shake it around. You want to get it in there. And then you start putting them in. You just throw them in. So these are your, like your little pieces that you're going to pull apart. And everything's coated with sugar and cinnamon. Really yummy. I um, we make this a lot in my family. We do it for holidays and for um, sleepovers when the kids were younger and they slept over. We'd make it. So yep, I'm just gonna keep repeating this until I use up all of these biscuits. You know, it's called monkey bread. I, I don't know, really know why it's called monkey bread. But some, somebody asked me that at camp last year or maybe the year before. And I believed it. This is what I believe. <laughs> you know how monkeys like to pick at things? So this is like a bread that you pick at. So it was called monkey bread. You know, um, it has many variations. Some people like to pick pumpkin in it, or apples, some put raisins, nuts in it, you can do that by just adding them when you want to, scattering them throughout here. Me, I just like the regular old sugar cinnamon monkey bread. See how quick it is? And so easy. It'll bake in the oven probably for, I don't know, maybe 40, 45 minutes until I can put something in that will, like a dowel or a skewer, that will make it not gooey. You can see that it's going to be gooey because this right here, this butter and brown sugar mixture is going to be a syrup and that's going to make it gooey anyways and that's just part of it. It also helps keep it together. Almost done layering. I hope everyone's staying safe, using your hand sanitizer, not going out to be with your friends, using only your phones. Can you believe I'm telling you to use your phones for communication? Because it's scary. It's scary how much how, how, how you can get so many people sick. It's 
scary that we're locked in our houses. This never happened to us. But we're gonna making the best of it. And I'm making videos for you. Something I never thought I'd be doing. So and this is something I know you'd like to eat. And probably if you have younger siblings in the house, they would like to eat it. So I used to think a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup of sugar. And as you can see, some is left over. This is how full the pan is with two, um, using two canisters of biscuits. This was on the stove. It's just butter and brown sugar. Now, if you brown sugar, you know, you might go for your brown sugar and it'll be hard because somebody left it open in your cabinet. If that happens, just put it in the microwave with a little damp towel on it for 20 seconds. Bring it out. It should be. It should be. If it's really hot, you might have to do it over again. So what I do with this is I'm just spraying this so that it gets in between the cracks so that, ooh, look at all that. It's almost like a caramel. All right, how can you not like this, huh? All right, so now I'm going to bake this for uh, 40 minutes at least, okay? Hope you're having a great day. Be kind, be nice, say something nice to your mom or your dad or your si siblings today. Everybody's in the same position as you are, so let's make it as pleasant as possible. I miss you guys and hope to see you soon.